What's up, y'all? It's your boy Sincere B with my review of Friday Night SmackDown, Friday, June 27, 2014. It took place in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, way to open up, you had Triple H in the ring along with Seth Rollins and Randy Orton. Triple H started talking about the new era. It's called the Authority Era now. And how this uh, Sunday at the Money in the Bank, you're going to be guaranteed a new champion which would be, he said, Randy Orton. And then he also had the traditional match that's going to take place for the Money in the Bank ladder contract match, which he said will be won by Seth Rollins. Uh, so he talks a little bit more, and boom, the few kind of starts. You got Seth Rollins stating that, you know, in case things don't happen the way it's supposed to, and Randy Orton like, uh, what you trying to say? And Seth like, well... I'm not saying anything particular about you, but let's say you don't get the job done again. And then all of a sudden, of course, that's going to piss Randy off. So these two got some feud already going on. So Triple H had to get between both of them, trying to tell them, hey, calm down. This is not good for us. And remember what I said, you either going to get with the program or you'll get out the program pretty much. You know, the parish, the adapt, you know, that thing he says. And so he went on to say that, you know, uh, normally when you see uh, Seth Rollins, you see one other person, that's Ambrose. And then he said, of course, and then of course everybody started cheering. He said, well, that's good news. You're going to hear, uh, see Ambrose out here in a few minutes, but I love doing this. I got some bad news. He loved saying that for Bad News Barrett. So the first match he's made up is going to be against Bad News Barrett against Ambrose, which should be a pretty good match. But. Let's go back to the feud between Randy Orton and Seth Rollins. This ain't going to work out. <laughs> you got Seth Rollins, who you already know is a sellout. You got Randy Orton, who's his ego as big as what. This is not going to work out at all. And I'm just curious to see how this going to play out. Now, I'm still having this uh, thought in my head that maybe Seth Rollins was put into the Evolution Authority for a reason. I think he's still with the Shield. What do you think? You think he's still working for the Shield? Would not be the craziest, the best surprise if Seth Rollins is still with the Shield, but this is part of the act to get within the authority and kind of mess them up. I don't know. Then again, if it's not, and if those three still stay together, you know Seth is going to sell out somebody. That's that what's going to happen. Or Randy going to sell out. Or Batista might come back and become a good guy and take care of Evolution. Because now Seth Rollins pretty much took Batista's spot. So let's see what happened with this feud. It should get very interesting. All right, y'all. So Ooh, the first match of the night was, of course, uh, Dean Ambrose versus Bad New Barrett. And I was hoping this was going to be the great, great, great match. And it was a great match and a great segment. Ambrose pinned Bad News. This was a huge win for Ambrose, in my opinion, because Bad News Barrett ain't no punk. And for him to, to make him, uh, to count him out, one, two, three, on a move, that's a big, big win for Ambrose. But anyway, after the match, you had Jack Swagger and Zepp coming out there. Um, I was thinking that Swagger was going to jump uh, Ambrose at first, but he actually went toward Bad News Barrett while Bad News Barrett was down. Because Bad News Barrett kind of messed him up on main event. So, uh, uh, Swagger continued to beat on Bad News Barrett. Uh, got him down. And then, of course, uh, you had Ambrose getting back up. And then charging. Uh, well, actually charging uh, Swagger. Knocking him down. Swagger gets in the ring. Throws Ambrose over the top rope. Ambrose on the floor passed out. Swagger get his swag on by looking up at the belts hanging from the top. Of course, you know you can't count out Ambrose because he's so damn insane and so loose. He gets back up, and while you have Swagger looking up at the belts, Ambrose coming back, tackling him, throws him off the top rope, and then leaving uh, my man Ambrose in the ring. So the whole segment was a good segment. I just love Ambrose. Um, and uh, and then right before, it thought we was over, thought it was done. Who comes out of nowhere to get Ambrose? Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins runs behind him. Throws his head against the steel steps, throw him in the ring, and hit Ambrose with that curb stomp. Ooh, it was over. So right now, man, that was a good segment, and everything happened was on point. Oh uh, man, I got a feeling this this uh this money in the bank is gonna be freaking sweet, man. Right now, my best move of the night again. I have to give it to that curb stomp. That curb stomp is no joke, man. I love the move. It's a smart, it's a smart move to make up, and it looks devastating. 
So let's see how the rest of the night goes. But so far, so good. All right, y'all. So the next match was uh, actually was Cameron of the Funky Dactyls versus Paige. <sighs> but I was kind of surprised. Uh, anyway, they had uh, Naomi uh, at the commentator booth talking with JBL and Michael Cole. But this match wasn't that bad. It was okay. I actually saw Paige do a little thing a little bit better. Her finishing move, she executed it a little bit better. Um, so overall, pretty good, decent, okay match. It wasn't that long. It was fast. Uh, but then as the match went on, then, then uh, Paige pinned camera one, two, three. Uh, you know, you got Naomi got up. She got in the ring. You know, could they, they gonna be going for the belt and money in the bank? Which I don't think that Paige would even come close to touching. Naomi, but we'll see how the script goes in this one. But anyway, uh, so they two kind of bump into each other. Uh, Cameron gets up and then pushes Paige, and now those two are trying to fight each other. And then you have uh, Naomi in the middle trying to break them two up, tell them to stop fighting. Uh, and as she's facing Paige, Cameron push Ashes. Paige turns her back against uh, uh, Naomi, and then Cameron pushes Naomi into Paige. Paige thinking that Naomi pushed on purpose, and Naomi like, I didn't do anything. I didn't push you, I didn't push you, and that went on for like a minute, and then it went off. Uh, so overall, okay match. I like this build up. I want to see Naomi, I guess, go with Paige. We'll see how that turns out. It should be a pretty good match, I hope. Uh, and we'll see what happens with the D division, but I got a feeling Cameron is just going to mess up um, Naomi at this uh, Money in the Bank. I just got this feeling that she's going to sell her out, but... We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. So the we'll next match happens. was Sheamus versus Bray Wyatt. Of course, the Bray, Bray Wyatt had his two brothers on the side also. And then Uso, Uso's end up coming out to try to stay on Sheamus' side because at a point, you know, the uh, Luke Harper and, and uh, it wasn't that he was trying to distract. So Uso's came out there to kind of help out Sheamus. Match was okay. It wasn't a, a bad match. It was a pretty good match. Um, kind of a disqualification because as Sheamus started to beat Bray down, then he got jumped by the Wild Brothers, and then of course the Usos came in to help Sheamus. They both went over the top ropes. They flew pretty high, landed on everybody, and that's kind of got that going. And then of course Sheamus got back up, but uh, uh, Bray caught Sheamus was about to put him in the Sister Abigail, but uh, Sheamus got out of it. Slaying uh, my man against the ropes. Bray come back, and right before we get the bro kick, he pulled out, and Sheamus didn't get to get the kick on him, and that was pretty much it. So a pretty decent match. Nothing really special about it, and I'm not going to dwell on it too long, so let's just go ahead and move on. All right, y'all, so the <laughs> next thing happened was, was Brian caught Goldust in the back. He asked Goldust about Rob Back's old invitation to fight them in Money in the Bank. And then, of course, uh, Gold Dust was talking about, ah, did you see the opening, the the introduction of Stardust? And then, of course, Cody Rhodes, Stardust, pops up, do a little thing about the sun. I like this character. I like him as this character. People hating on him. But I think this is cool, man. I think he's doing a really good job playing this new Stardust character. It fits uh, Gold Dust. They work get well together. They brothers, man. I think it's awesome. I hope he keeps doing Stardust for a while. And uh, but they went on to say that they accepted the challenge. So now the Money in the Bank match is going to be between Gold Dust and Stardust versus a Rob Baxel. Uh, that should be a pretty good match. And I want to see them two together. I know a pay per view they're gonna act even more crazier. So again, I love Stardust. Stop hating on him. Embrace, embrace. Embrace the party plan. I think it's funny and just goes together with gold dust. We'll see what this match gonna be about. All right, y'all. So the next match bank, baby. was a tag team match. You have uh Rob Van Dam and Dolph Ziggler versus uh you had uh Cesaro uh with the Rio. So it's a pretty good match overall. Nothing really special or get into, nothing really happened. Uh at the end you have Cesaro and the Rio in the win in the match. So, you know, it is what it is. I still, I, I really want to see Ziggler get into this uh, Money in the Bank somehow, man. I'm kind of disappointed. If he don't get into Money in the Bank, I'm going to be a little disappointed he's not in there. I want to see Ziggler in there. So I hope he'll make it. Uh, but again, this match itself was okay, decent, nothing special. And uh, let's uh, let's just move on. <laughs> All right, so the next thing happened was Ray, uh, Renee Young catches the Usos in the back. And just like the family, you know, from The Rock to Rikishi, 
all great talkers, man. They got into it, man, saying it was so crazy. They're going to win it at the end of Money in the Bank. They're still going to be the tag team champions. How can you not like these two? Oh, you haters out there. Stop hating on the Usos. They're the best tag team we have right now. That's on the main schedules. You know, Raw, SmackDown. These guys are good. They're entertaining. They bust their ass. They sacrifice their bodies. That's the kind of tag team you want. They work well together because they're freaking twins. You can ask for a better setup for that. They tag teams. They brothers. They twins. Of course, they twins. They have to be brothers. So of course, y'all know that. Shut up. Listen to me. Become a Uso fan because we need them right now until someone maybe from NXT or someone else comes up. Until then, they're the best tag team that we have. Let them be. Be Uso crazy. All right, y'all. So the next thing that. that happened was Rusev versus Sin Cara. I just knew Rusev was going to win this one. So the match wasn't that long. It's pretty, uh, it was pretty short. And, uh, man, Rusev caught Sin Cara coming down. He hit him with a super kick. Woo! That made it my move of the night so far. After the match, of course, Rusev won. But then Big E come out there. And Big E preaching now. He has that preacher voice. And I actually like, like it for him. Before then, before he took on this role of personality, he wasn't really a good talker on the microphone. But he seems comfortable talking at this preacher voice. So I like it for him. It makes him talk better. And he seems more comfortable with it. Let him talk, man. But he was preaching on how, because it was in Pittsburgh, how this is a, a, a country that has people working steel mills and supports their family and, and take things head on. And, and they don't jump people by the back from the back. You know, he faced them. You face them, who you're going to jump. And the next thing you know, them two got face to face in the match. I'm like, get this on, because I really want to see this match. And I can't wait to see it on oh, Money in the Bank. Anyway, they got face to face. Rusev ended up getting pulled away by Lana. Of course, when e, to Big E turned his back, Rusev got back in the ring, trying to hit my man from behind. Big E caught him, threw him out the ring, and they went out yelling. So, a little small, cool, decent segment. It's nice to see that Big E feeling comfortable talking with this character. Hope he continue with this, and I want to see this match at a pay-per-view, which should be, oh, Money in the Bank. This should be a pretty good, exciting match. I can't wait to see them go at it All right, y'all, so this is the main event, Real. a main match of the night, the last match of the night, and my favorite match of the night. This was Kane versus uh, Roman Reigns. The match was pretty good. Two big guys, two powerhouses, some really good wrestling going on there. I really enjoyed it. Of course, you got Reigns starting to get the best of Kane, and what happens? He come Randy right Orton running down the ramp to get in to have uh, Kane. They ended up taking that uh, Roman Reigns for a little bit. Uh, Roman Reigns was out. So Kane went down, grabbed one of the tallest ladders. And at first he kind of hinted like he was going to attack uh, Randy Orton. Or you didn't know if he was going to throw the, uh, uh, the ladder on Roman Reigns or he was down. He ended up picking up the ladder, opened it up, put it right under where the belt was hanging from the top of the ring. And then stood back. And then Randy Orton slowly walked up to the ladder. He wasn't sure. He started climbing up the ladder a little bit. Kane grabbed the ladder. Everybody was like, throw the ladder down. Push him down. And and even Randy Orton hesitated, but then kind of smiled at the camera. Walked up top of the of the uh, ladder, grabbed both of the belts. Kane that came down. Kane put the ladder away. Kane stood back and let Randy Orton hold the belt up. I was like, no way. Kane just really done lost his mind. Uh, so they're celebrating, and before you know it, Roman Reigns gets back up. Superman, ooh, Superman, Randy Orton in the face, Spears Kane. They're both out of the ring, and Roman Reigns left with the two belts in his hand holding them up. So it was a cool segment, a nice match, entertaining. Um, I don't know about Kane, though. You know, Kane can switch at any time. I don't know. At this uh, Money in the Bank, is Kane going to really be true and faithful to the authority and help Randy get this belt? Or is Kane going to take this bet for himself? So it's really popping up to be a really good money in the bank. I can't wait to watch it. My best move of the night again is Rusev, uh, super kicking Sin Cara. And then, of course, the last match of the night was my best match of the night. Let me know down below what's your best match of the night, what's your best move of the night, how you thought about uh, SmackDown. Don't forget, this Sunday, I'm doing a live stream. It's going to start on 3.30 p.m. Pacific. For money in the bank and i'm not streaming the actual money in the bank but i will be watching it along with other people joining in we'll be talking about the events the matches as they happen live 
So if you don't have a way of way of watching it, if you haven't gotten a WWE Network, which is only nine 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 a month, if you haven't done that, then come by, hang out. You can get the scoop as the events happen. I post photos on Instagram. Also, I post some footage on Vine. Uh, so you can see what's going on because you know what we love our WWE baby and all fans are welcome So just so even just come by and say hi come by and say hi I already got the video posted not a video But I guess the announcement already posted up so you can check it out and stay high come back And I will give you a shout out on my next video probably like Monday or Tuesday when I do my raw review and uh, Hey, I give you a shout out. So again, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up don't forget to share it. And you know what else, right? Come again and bring a friend. It's your boy, Sensei B. I'm out of here. Peace.